I think of pain as the fundamental reality because no one disputes it, right? I mean, even if you say that you don't believe in pain, it doesn't help when you're in pain. You still believe in it, right? It's, 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 you can't pry it up with logic and rationality. It just stands forth as, as what the fundament of existence, and that's actually quite useful to know. Say, well, you don't want any more of that than is absolutely necessary. And I think that's self-evident. And then you say, well, wait a minute, it's more complicated than that. You don't want any more of that that's necessary today, but also not tomorrow and not next week and not next month and not next year. So however you act now, better not compromise how you're going to be in a year because that would just be counterproductive. That's part of the problem with short-term pleasures, right? It's like act in haste, repent at leisure. Everyone knows exactly what that means. So you have to act in a way that works now and tomorrow and next week and next month and so forth. And so you have to take your future self into account and human beings can do that. And taking your future self into account isn't much different than taking other people into account. Right? Because I remember there's this Simpson episode. And uh, Homer downs a quart of mayonnaise and vodka. <laughs> and he says, um, someone, Marge says, you know, you shouldn't really do that. And Homer says, that's a problem for future Homer. I sh I'm sure glad I'm not that guy. <laughs> The Bible's not the inherent word of God. What's going on? That's a good question. That, that's a really good question. I mean, I'm going to try to answer that rationally but, uh, but, uh, and as we move forward. But as I said, I don't want to leave people with the notion. Because, you know, in some ways, this is something I've thought about. What I've been thinking about for a long time is I can't tell if I'm a, uh, like an advocate of the religious viewpoint or its worst possible critic. Because I am doing my best to make it rational, and there's, an, there's a reductionistic element to that, but I think that I'm doing that while also leaving the door open to things that I don't understand, because I know that there's, there's more to this story than I understand or can understand, and I'm laying out what I can understand, and I'm making it rational, but I do not believe for an instant that that exhausts the realm. It's like there, there are ways of interpreting these stories that work in the conceptual universe we inhabit right now. But there's a lot of things that we don't understand. And what I'm, the thing I've found about digging into these stories is that the deeper you dig, the more you find. And that's pretty damn, that's one of the things that convinced me that there was more to them than I had originally suspected because things would click and I'd think, wow, that's, <laughs> that's really something. And then I would take it apart further and I'd think, oh, well, I thought that was something, but this is, this is even more remarkable. It just keeps opening and opening. and so. I'm going to make it rational. I'm going to try to provide an answer.